Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show the new capabilities we have added to the list box filter type, enabling authors to show or hide null as a selectable value, exclude a selection and to bind a parameter to the list box filter. In my example here on this dashboard filter, I've got customer segment as two filter columns. The first one is a list filter. Just to recap, the list filter is a current default filter experience we provide for dashboard filters. And um, the list filters, when no values are selected, it means that all values are selected and applied to the visualization on the canvas. List filter also provides other options to exclude certain selected values and to include null or to exclude null as a selectable value. Now we've added the same experience for list box filters. Let's go to the property panel and I'll show you the new properties we've added for list box. Custom values uh, by default is turned off when you turn it on. And notice that uh, customer segment now becomes a true single select list box filter experience. All is no longer an available value in the selection list. In addition to that, author can also provide a custom text uh, on the filter surface, uh, just like how you would do it on list filters. Now I'm going to turn it off uh, for my demo. Null selection by default is turned off as well. So when you turn it on and open up the filter surface, uh, notice that null becomes a selectable value. Let's go ahead and turn it off. The selection mode by default is set to include, meaning that any value the user select is included as part of the filter query. But when you uh, change the selection mode to exclude, it really means that any value that the user select is now excluded from the uh, filter query. So, so in this example, consumer as a customer segment value is being excluded and the table shows the rest of the values for the customer segment column. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it back uh, to include. The last feature I want to show is parameter binding. Parameter binding works exactly the same way as uh, you know you would create and bind a parameter on this filter. The only difference is, is that the binding is from the property panel. So when you open up the binding surface, uh, the UI shows a list of available parameters that the user can select and bind. And uh, the quick and the easy way to create parameter from the binding surface is also available. So let me go ahead and click on the create parameter. So this automatically creates a parameter behind the scenes and the parameter is also automatically bound to the list box filter. So uh, if you drop the parameter as a filter on the top filter bar and uh, let's show the values and any value that the user selects on the list box filter is now passes the value to the parameter which can then be used within the scope of the workbook definition. The default value selection required and limit by values are also existing properties of list filter type uh, that has been now added to the list box filter style as well. And notice that um, when you bind a parameter to the list box filter, the default value is automatically set to parameter, meaning that the parameter that is bound to the list box is actively listening for any filter selections that the user makes on this particular filter type. Thank you for watching this video.